That image of him sitting in that giant room with the blast of electricity blowing over his head, that very famous picture, you know, that's Nikola Tesla, right? He's the inspiration for so many young scientists who want to go out there and sort of bust through the, the boundaries of what's known and what's possible. Part of the reason Tesla chose Colorado Springs was the ability to observe lightning storms over the Great Plains. He even created some of his own. When he created artificial lightning, hello, artificial lightning, okay. Uh, Edison, he's not creating artificial lightning, he's creating the photograph and the light bulb and these very practical things, right? But the other side of that is Tesla in Colorado, creating artificial lightning that was so powerful that the thunder of it was heard miles away and apparently charged the ground such that when people were walking, right, these electrical snaps would, would occur every time they lifted their feet. From the copper-plated sphere atop the antenna, giant electrical discharges streamed out. The man-made bolts reportedly exceeded 100 feet in length. Strange effects were also observed, like the flight patterns of butterflies, which seemed to be caught in a swirling vortex. Apparently the butterflies had become so charged that they flew around in the glow of like a St. Elmo's fire. I mean, this is really, this is the kind of thing that gave Tesla his reputation. This was a man who was sort of harnessing the magic of nature, almost scarily so, but providing the sense of like such inspiration and motivation for others to think like, God, you know, I gotta get into that field. <laughs> you know, I wanna be one of those guys.